alaikum everyone. Inshallah, everybody's doing okay. So my name is Saada, and I am from Hikmah School. I am the principal of Hikmah School. Um, Hikmah School is a co-op, just like Ilm Tree, which means we are not a private school, but our students are enrolled in a homeschool program. So let's talk a little bit about the history of Hikmah School. Alhamdulillah, it was founded in 2016 with about 12 students. Um, I, I can also relate to the San Francisco Islamic School when he said they've moved about six times. Well, we haven't done six times, but we have moved a couple of times. Uh, we've had to move out of the Brentwood Muslim Community Center, Musalla. We had to move to the Antioch Community Center. We came back to Brentwood Community. We've moved a couple of times until, alhamdulillah, we got our new building. Um, in 2021 and we got the permit. Alhamdulillah, in 2022, our student population grew so much. Um, I think parents are really starting to realize uh, what is going on out there and our Muslim community is, is growing so fast. Alhamdulillah, this year we have more than 100 students and we are running out of space again. When we got our building in 2021, we thought our problems were over. We're like, oh, Alhamdulillah, we have our building everything's gonna go smoothly but subhanallah now we're tr still trying to expand uh, we have students from TK to 12th grade alhamdulillah so far we've had four students who have graduated uh, one of our students graduated last year early and then three other students graduated the year before so what is our vision you know when we start our year we always start with the end in mind what do we want our students to accomplish by the time they graduate from Hikmah. So we want to equip our students with Islamic knowledge, fiqh, aqidah, and akhlaq, of course. We want to instill a strong sense of Muslim identity. We always say we want our students to go out into the world and be proud Muslim doctors, be proud Muslim teachers, and so on and so forth. We want to prepare them for entering into the real world. Um, and higher education, and we want to provide optimal academic opportunities and educational excellence. So why hikmah? A lot of people ask us, why did you choose the word hikmah? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah An-Nahl, call to the path of your Lord with hikmah, wisdom, and words of good advice. That is what we try to do every single day um, in hikmah. We impart wisdom through words of goodness. And we advise our students to make the right choices, to make the right decisions that's going to get them closer to Allah every single day. And in reflecting on life's decisions with hikmah and adherence to what is prescribed to them by their deen, this school becomes more than a, a place of learning, but a stepping stone for the implementation of Islamic wisdom. So hikmah is defined by many scholars as trustworthiness, as understanding and explaining the Quran, as knowing something and acting on it, as putting something where it belongs. This is what we try to teach our students every single day. We try to instill it in all of our classes, not just the Islamic studies classes, but every single class. So um, our educational model, uh, we try to offer the students a comprehensive education that incorporates Islamic values, ethics, and teachings into the academic curriculum. Um, we, we, we try to nurture their spiritual, intellectual, emotional, and physical growth, all the while instilling a deep-rooted sense of Islamic identity and character. Nowadays, it is so hard. The students nowadays, it's like they're living in different worlds. Um, it's like they have to go to school and act in a certain way. They have to come back home and act in a certain way. So it's really, really hard for them to get that Muslim identity. So um, that's what we try to instill in them, inshallah. So for our secular curriculum, we carefully select curriculum that is in compliance, of course, with the California state standards because here we are a co-op, they are always checking up on us. And uh, we try to choose curriculum that not only meets the California state standards, but that goes over and beyond. And we try to provide engaging, hands-on, and enjoyable learning experiences for our students. And um, our students are tested throughout the year, um, you know, through iReady, map testing, the state testing, 
And of course, our daily instruction is taught by our qualified teachers who have backgrounds specialized in areas of focus. We have a lot of teachers who are parents, but we also have a lot of teachers um, that are not parents. And for our Islamic curriculum, every year we have a different Islamic curriculum. We choose our Islamic curriculum based on our students. Uh, we try to make sure that it aligns with the needs um, and the interests of our students. We prioritize using contemporary materials that are relevant to the present time and are, that are authored by esteemed scholars. Uh, when it comes to fiqh, we always go back to the classic, alhamdulillah, our deen of Islam studies, Sheikh Farid Dingle, um, he, he, he loves to go back to the classics, so um, he chooses all of our um, Islamic curriculum that we use. Then for our enrichment activities and extracurricular activities, we have lots and lots of fun um, in Hikmah School, alhamdulillah. Our students have participated in a lot of different um, science events, such as the Science Olympiad. We were so proud to see our students in the Science Olympiad for the past two years. We've gotten medals um, for the competitions. We're always so proud to see our students who will be the only students wearing their hijab when it's time to pray they will stop and pray wherever they are, alhamdulillah. Um, after reading a novel, we take our students to visit the location and origin of the author's inspiration. We plan trips to different universities. We've gone to different museums, alhamdulillah. Uh, we've had different renowned Islamic authors come and visit our school and have different presentations. Um, our students were visited by professionals last year. <laughs> for career development, alhamdulillah. We had different engineers, artists, scholars, those in the medical field. Um, our students participated in hackathon um, this year for those who were really into the coding. Some of our students went into the care program um, this summer, alhamdulillah. So uh, we definitely try to incorporate a lot of after-school activities for our students just so that um, it's engaging and it is fun. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khairan for your time. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.